Hi there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to lead management with HubSpot CRM 2024. And right now, I'm currently inside HubSpot because I have used my dummy Google account to proceed with this one. So this is currently a free trial. So a disclaimer that some features are not available yet or fully available at my end. Anyway, I'm gonna do my best and share you my technique on lead management using HubSpot CRM. The first thing you wanna do on lead generation, of course, is we need to create a form. So we have an ideal or a tool to use with. To create a form in HubSpot, make sure you go to marketing and by default, you should see forms here. So click forms and you'll open up this new landing page. So once you're here inside forms, this is how it should look like. Currently, I have a working um, form right here just a sample I created a while ago. Now, to create your new form, say we click on that button right there. Click on the option right here. You can choose embedded, standalone, pop up box, um, drop down banner, slide in left or slide in live. I'm gonna go with embedded, click on next, and you're gonna have a lot of choices. You can check for payment, registration, contact us, and so much more. I'm gonna go with contact us. So basically you already have some fields here. This is the preview on how it should look like. This is the registration. Now, if you're satisfied with this one, for example, you can click on start. And you'll be working on the new form, which is basically contact us. Now, you can do so as you see fit here. For example, for the first name, you can place it under the last name or beside each other. You can add some phone number here. It's just like Canva, just dropping and moving stuff right there. Now, for example, we're satisfied with this one. You can click on submit or go to options right here. Moving on, you can just automate it, publish it, and you'll be good to go. Now, after creating a form, you need a customer service platform or basically HubSpot can help you with this. Some of the things that I use as a customer platform is basically Pinterest, Amazon, and the works. But I think HubSpot will be a good thing to start for you. Choosing that specific customer platform is a very crucial part for beginners, so please check them out. I have a video about that, so please check it out. Now, once let's say you have created your form, much like the sample I have here, I'm not going to publish that. So once we're satisfied with the design of our forms, click on update right there or click on actions. There's a lot of things to take note of there. Before, click on update. And with this one, there is no warnings review. You can simply click on publish and with this one you can do a lot of things one of which is you can copy the link copy it to your clipboard you can just highlight this one click on copy and you can share it to your friends this is the embedded code you can copy it also and use it as an html on other websites pretty awesome right you can use hubspot to edit your own form and use it on your personal website now there is also an option here to preview link in new tab so let's check this one right now and now, with easy as that, we have created a lead management tool, or basically a form. And with that being said, next stop. So currently I have two parts right here, right? Now for example, you have created your very own form. The next step on lead management is checking your contacts. So go to contacts, click on contacts right there. And once you're here, I have two contacts right here. So I can just remove this one and choose one contact just for discussion purposes. Those are just sample contacts, by the way, they're not real people. And then anyway, with contacts, you can track the task, the list on how much it was updated. For example, you can check what's going on on this specific contact itself. That being said, you don't have or you don't need to ask, for example, Brian Halligan, what's going on on March 24? What's happened or what happened in February 2024? Everything you need to know here is real time update. You can include notes, emails, calls, task meetings, and so much more. Pretty awesome, right? Now, once that's done, next thing you want to take note of or um, be familiarized is going to be reporting and dashboards. Basically, on the reporting tab, you're going to have two options. You can choose my reports and you'll see here all of the lists of reports you have done since the beginning of your account. Reports are pretty important regarding lead management to have your visibility on your growth. 
for example, since February, you have 10 lead. And then by March, you have a progress of 5, so that's 15. And you'll see that on your reports. But the best part or the much more better way on approaching this one is via dashboards. So if you go to dashboards, you can create your very own dashboard. We have a lot of templates here. We have email, marketing, sales, sales manager, and so much more. How about let's try one just for discussion purposes. I'm going to go with email overview. You can edit, for example, what you want to see or what you want to remove. For example, this one, I'm going to click on next. So the name is felt right there. I'm going to name it sample dashboard. You can change the privacy or put everyone. I think I'm going to go with private to owner, create dashboard right there. And with that one, you can go to your dashboard with no problem at all. So these are the things you can see inside it. You can add a report. You can share it. These are the actions. As you can see right here, reports can be added inside your dashboard. That's why I said this is a much more approach or rather much more better approach in regarding lead management in, in regards also on checking your reports. Now, since we're talking about lead gen before, there is a lead generation dashboard here. It just sits around sales manager and between sales opportunity review. It should place right here before. But since it's not available anymore right now, as of now, basically, we can just simply create a new dashboard. With that, you can tailor fit it with your favorite lead gen management tool with your lead gen organization, your lead gen um, approach. However, um, there's a substitute here for lead generation, and that is going to be sales rep or service overview. Basically, they're the same thing, and everything here helps you with your CRM and your sales. Now, once that's done, one more thing to take note of is if you go to settings and then look for properties. Once you're in contact properties, make sure you're here, okay? Look for HubSpot score. Should be around here somewhere. Here we have it. Now, this is pretty awesome because you can edit the score, for example, the threshold on how much it will score so you don't have to be specific, for example. Score means leads, okay? For example, on this part right here, let me just type this on sample. It's not working in a way I think it's not working because this properties field type can't be changed. So this is perfectly used as of now. And with that being said, scores are a thing that can adjust your threshold so you don't have to manually search everything inside your reports. So please take note about this one also. Now, once that's done, another thing to take note of is going to be segment list or segmenting some list. Go to contacts and click on list. Now, among the things I've let you know so far, dashboards, report, list, I think is one of the best or most important thing to take note of in lead management. Because you can create a list right there. You can make it contact based, deal based, or basically company based. I'm going to name this one sample list one. I'm going to go for sample for description or description. So I can add this one for 10 or static. I'm going to go with 10 and click on next. Now, once you have successfully created your list, add the filter. This is what I was showing earlier. If you click on contact properties right there and look for HubSpot score should be right here. Now, the score is equal to something you have typed earlier. And this is the part where you can narrow down, filter the scores, filter the leads. For example, your top 5 to 10 scores will be on the left side, 10 to 15 will be in the middle, and so on and so forth. It's more on the organization, on the segmenting your list. Please take note about this one also, okay? Now, once you have a list, you can add some workflows, custom content using lists, and even emails. So for emails, I have a video about that. So please check it out, but let's browse through it right now since you're already here. Click on email right there under marketing. So you can just create an email campaign. Basically with this one, create an email so you can constantly remind your clients for a follow-up. That's the main idea for email, follow-up, okay? So those are the things and tips and tricks for you regarding lead management in HubSpot CRM 2024. So thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.